Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I thought that I would actually kill two birds with one stone. So I have um, a plan actually to move really soon, relatively soon, which and usually I move quite a bit and usually when that happens I take the time to do like a kind of Marie Kondo inspired edit. I'm very familiar with the process of editing, really just getting to the, the nitty gritty of the kinds of things that I actually need to keep in my life, which shouldn't be very many things. But at any rate, I have a, an entire section of things that I need to deal with. And so I'm kind of gonna turn this into a little bit of a series. It's not necessarily about cluttering, but it will be about show and tell because, you know, I have uh, different piles of things I need to get rid of or maybe donate or give away. Um, I, like I said, I have a lot of, a lot of things beside me that I will uh, insert and show. I think I'll do it with my phone right now. So this is just to give you an idea. There are three piles of things. So I'm gonna go through these and I also will use this as an opportunity to uh, do some story timing and show and tell. So I'm gonna call these Sunday show and tells. Show and tell Sunday, something to that effect. I'm just gonna pick whatever is here. Um, I'm gonna pick this first because I know exactly what it is. It is a box of DVDs. I am a bit of a DVD hoarder. A lot of them I don't watch. Maybe I'll reach for them once every two years. I'm just gonna move my uh, my hand. Give me a hand. <laughs> Let me just lift this. Oh, okay, no, this is not the right one. These are my rider dies. These are all of the X-Files DVDs that I, I got on Amazon for like $9.99. And then, yeah, I have like Game of Thrones in here, T True Blood Fringe. And then of course, I'm not gonna give this away. Like what the hell? I, I grabbed the wrong box. Okay, I'm back. Oh God, this is a weird one too. What do I even wanna do with these? I've, I've never watched them. This was actually a box of DVDs that my friend had given me um, that after he decluttered his DVDs. Of course, however, I, I do have my uh, three Rider Dies in here, um, which I would never get rid of, obviously. I'm never gonna get rid of these. They were just burped. <sighs> it has like Big Daddy, like the original Spider-Man. When did this come out? 2002 maybe? 2002. I saw this in theaters and I have always hated superhero movies. It's just not my thing. I've never liked them. Um, but I, I quite like this one. Oh, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. Oh, here comes Sarge. He hijacks everything. It's crazy. He hijacked my conversation with my father this morning. You're very rude. Here, come sit here. <laughs> um, Zodiac. Will I watch this? Never. Indiana Jones. Okay, about it in the first and second Ghostbusters. Actually, I know somebody that I can, one of my patrons that I can send this to. Strange Days. This is actually a really cool movie. I don't know if it was very well known. It was like kind of like existence. Like you could plug into like virtual reality. You can see through other people's eyes kind of thing, experience things that they experience. And it was a very cool, kind of sexy thriller. Um, and I think, it, yeah, it's a James Cameron flick. So this is actually a really good movie. I think I will keep this. So this is gonna be my donate pile. And here is my keep pile. Yay. And we'll go to the next one. Some of the things that are inside of this little tub it are things that I've had for literally years. A lot of it I haven't touched or opened or some of them are brand new. And I'm like, I, yeah. So this is scary because I know that it has things that I, uh, I've just kind of kept away. It's a Cars pencil case, because I had asked my mom for a pencil case for school, like for university, not for school, for university. I'm like, mom, I really want a pencil case. And so she bought me a Cars pencil case. Oh, let's see what's in here. Hey, this patch I've had forever. Somebody gave me this when I went on tour and somebody gave me a shirt with um, a thriller on it. And then this patch as well. Then this is a Norwegian patch, a KMFDM patch that I bought in Colorado, I think. And then a Danish flag because I lived in Denmark and a Canadian one because I'm Canadian. I've got spikes. Remember these things? Um, cut little holes out, out of your um, jean jacket and you stick them on here. I think I had these stuck onto something and I had to remove them. Do I keep this? Do I keep, what do I keep this for? I don't even know what I keep it for. What else do I got in here? I've got, ooh, I got even big ones. Big spikes. 
and I have a lot of buttons. Lots and lots of buttons. So these are pins that I got from uh, PETA back in the day. Be nice to mice, don't test on them. Love animals, don't eat them. This one is from Pride Western. It's an organization at my, where I did my undergrad. And it says gay is okay, because gay is okay. I got psycho bitch from hell. I know who gave me this. <laughs> My best friend gave me this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we used to give each other like the best gifts. <laughs> we make very elaborate gifts actually. She gave me, like she had like a, uh, a card. Psycho Bitch from Hell is, it was actually a card that she gave me. Um, TKS Radio, hey, Draco, shout out to Draco. Uh, Drop Fees, Canadian Federation of Students, Ontario. Oh God. I'm so sorry my parents are watching this. I know who gave me this one too. It was a, girl, a girlfriend of mine from university. I told her when I was going overseas as an exchange student, she's like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna send you, or I'm gonna give you like a, some things for you to take with you to, to Denmark. But it says, don't assume I am not into cheap, meaningless sex. <laughs> Wear it. I'm sure it'll go over really well in Scandinavia. Hey, totes my goats. I know who gave me this. Draco also gave me this. This one is actually interesting. This was my sister's, I think in the late 80s. Um, It's a band. Let me check and see who this band is because I actually don't know who it is. I stole this from her. It's a band called Brother Beyond. We're a British boy band pop group who had mainstream success in the late 1980s. This one's called The Harder. <laughs> and uh, I got a commie pin here too. Okay, so this was a total fail. Um, we did not declutter anything from this. What is this? Oh, more pins. Oh God. And we'll just throw that away. And then I, I'm really bad for keeping these. So, okay, that's enough. Okay, we have some magnets. I don't know what to do with this. Do I, throw, I can't throw out magnets. What do I do with magnets? Uh, a business card for Tolina. Cool. So this is um, another thing that I like to hoard are SIM cards. I have so many of these. So this one is from Sweden. Um, this is Labara Start. This is a, a Danish one, so I will keep that. Okay, um, and then I have a, a thing of CDs. These are those like uh, CDs that you get when you buy a new printer and I have a lot of printers. What else is in here? We've got Cabaret Disc Dota. No, sorry, two of two. <laughs> these are uh, photo shoots. Uh, photographs. Fallon and the Grace Dynasty, May 22nd, 2010. Oh my god, that's already nine years ago. Nope, no story there, really. There's just things that I need to get rid of. Um, my CDs. All right. Billy, oh god. This is Tanya's. I should give this back to her. I already, you know what? I borrowed this from her. I don't even know how long ago. I should probably give that back. So I'm gonna keep it. I will. <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. Um, grips for PS4, I have to keep that. Um, an iPhone box. Okay, this is my other thing, is that every time I get a new phone, I keep the box. I have the boxes for all of my phones since I bought a Kaya, uh, Kaya Sera in 2004. I still have that one somewhere in my parents' house. I should probably throw it out. A coach purse, a little wallet with, uh, oh, it has money. Oh, it's 50 kroner. Okay, so it's uh, it's Danish money. Obviously, I'm not gonna throw that out. I need that. This is like a travel thing, because I've got some travel adapters and some keys, which I think is for the, the lock on my, um, um, on my luggage, so I'm gonna obviously keep that. So these look like travel cards. This is a Visa code from Denmark, um, which is amazing. I'm never gonna get rid of that. You know what, I'll put that in my little, with my Danish money, and I'll put in this with, with that, just in case I go back. And uh, this one I think is for uh, Stockholm, a phone. This is not, this is a loner phone that my friend gave me. He graciously lent it to me. I should probably send it back. Oh my God, OG Witch Moon CD. Um, when we were in, uh, when I was in Katie anyways, when we were first starting out, we got in contact with this, oh God. We got in contact with this band, they're from New Jersey. This CD is amazing, but it's like so DIY and amazing. Oh, when was this? It doesn't even say 1998. This is from 1998. So I uh, I kept that because I really enjoy the CD. It's very good. What is this? Oh, this is from when I took German. <laughs> oh, a bunch of guitar picks. Lovely. It's a Canadian one. 
So we have a lot of money from different countries. I'm a, I keep my coin collection very precariously put together um, and not in a good way. What do we got here? We got a, um, a Greek drachma, 10 cent, 10 cent piece. I think they're called guilders. Oh, here's another one. Trinidad and Tobago. If I'm gonna have a coin collection, I should probably display it in a better way than just like all muddled together like this. And I've got some really cool coins in here, old coins too. But anyways, a very large paper clip. Very large paper clip. Ooh, this is from, this is my, the little uh, tassel from my, when I graduated from my undergrad. This is a smoke bomb. I don't know why I have it, and I should probably not have it. I have this. Don't know where this came from or what this is. Ooh, this is cool. This is a little charm that I got in, in Japan. And basically what it is, is for good luck in school. So I'm not gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put that with my smoke bomb. Ooh, this is, this is a Roman nail. I should probably not show that on camera. And that was, that was, that was that box. Not many stories associated with this. It's mostly, um, piece that's mostly junk. Do a little show and tell from this bag because I'm almost positive it has things in here that are weird or strange. This, if I remember correctly, was given to me by my friend Matt in maybe the 12th grade. He was a guy that I wanted to hang out with because he was cool. He gave me this. It is apparently, and I, I may totally be wrong about this, or I don't know, I can't remember exactly, but he gave it to me because it was like what geishas had that they kept with them for protection. And this random bag also has the Lord of the Rings trading card rule book. <laughs> I don't even know if they sell these this this card game anymore um, because it was released during the um, back in 2000 I believe this is 2001 yeah it was recently released in 2001 I'm almost I'm almost positive that there is there aren't like people playing it like people play magic so I have a bag of GI Joe or like action figure guns a Vietnam War era helmet, various guns, like I said. And I do have the action figures inside this box, which will make sense. In fact, I'll just show them to you. This is one of them. <laughs> These are not GI Joes. These are just like crappy, I don't even know. So yeah, I, I don't know what to do with these either. And I, I think I'm just going to keep them. I was like obsessed with the military for a really long time. I would buy like bags and bags of those little green army soldiers and like paint them. And I have a lot of weird hobbies. These have a story. These are, I've only, oops. These are G.I. Joe. These, this is actually the foreign soldier collection. It is um, German army, World War II, uh, paratrooper body. Um, it's a Barbie body. <laughs> with um, Jay Gordon from Orgy's Head. Yeah, it's not actually Jay Gordon from it. Like somebody gave me this doll head and we turned it into Jay Gordon. <laughs> so I had this headless Barbie body and I decided to pop Jay Gordon's head on it with this German paratrooper, <laughs> German paratrooper action figure clothing. We're gonna keep that because it's so freaking weird that um, people would understand why it's in my house. So this is a Vietnam War era clothes. It's actually this um, doll that somebody made for me and it was in, in my image <laughs> back in the day. But it was actually like a, a doll that was made in the 1960s because you can tell um, by, first of all, by the um, makeup, but the fact that she has real eyelashes. The person that gave me this cut the hair um, it, uh, to look like my my hairstyle at the time. I've always kept it. I thought it was such a cool like gift and when they gave it to me It was like dressed in this beautiful dress. I thought that was really cool I really really enjoy these like really cool personal gifts that um, fans have given to me um, Over the years, so I thought that was kind of cool. Okay. So this is a sack of This is somebody gave this to me um, And it, it's like a wine bag <laughs> I don't know where I got it from or who gave it to me, but inside of it, I keep kitty demos. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is also a Hi8 tape. This is a, sorry, this is a Video 8 
eight millimeter video cassette also that you would put in a camcorder. Look how friggin' big that is. That's crazy. On the front, it says Yasmina, Kat, Tanya, and Fallon. Saunders Xmas, do not reuse. But this is a video, a recreation of one of the scenes from Sid and Nancy that we did for a video project in school. It's entitled Fallon, Tanya, Kat, Yasmina, do Sid and Nancy, April, May of 19, uh, sorry. 1999. But these are kitty demos, so Sex is Hell was our first demo that we did in 1998. This one is a limited edition. There were only five of these ever made, and uh, it has um, Sex is Hell, and then it has a our first interview ever that we did in with a local um, college radio station. Little thing that I found. I just found it on the on the ground, and it fell out of something most likely. This is. Uh, it's the Bacardi symbol, obviously, but it has a story. So when when I was an exchange student in Denmark, there was a one particular uh, bar, a pub. All the guys, it was mostly guys that worked there, wore kilts that would give you one of these and you could drink as much as you want and as many beers as you possibly can um, in, in one hour. I uh, utilized the free beer hour many, 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 many times. This was the little thing to say, hey, I'm a student, um, I would like my free beer hour, please. And so I kept this. Babes, 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 babes. So I think I'm gonna finish this video on my phone because of course my uh, camera um, died again. Um, so Sarge and I are going to um, <clears throat> end this video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more and videos like this or other videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified for the next time I put up a video, hit that little bell, it'll let you know. Say bye. Say bye.